stand by. I'm gonna be wet for the rest of the day, or I'm gonna be really proud of myself for doing it. Is it sturdy? <laughs> yeah. There are other uh, words to describe yeah, it. Anything sideways. Yeah. This is high risk. I mean, you may get across in dry shoes or you may go washing down the river and you'd be completely wet head to toe. That way, you know you're going to get your, your lower, below your knees wet. You go for the high risk. Or you want to go for the low risk? Oh. All right. We're going to go on high risk. <laughs> Take the camera. I'm going to be on standby to get a rid of you. Do you have a trucking pole to stick out to it? Yeah, that'd be easy. Yeah. That'd be easy. You can do it. It's just slippery. Yeah. If you saw, I'll grab hold of the pole. Okay. Before you go down the river, okay? I'll put your foot sideways on it, please. Quit moving the rope!
She's like, go for it. Yeah, take it. Good boy. Don't shake. <laughs> <laughs> Deflected all of your kicks. You are defenseless. <laughs> Behind it. Behind it. <sighs> Hey you! Hey you! No, what? Let's go. September 30th. We've been out on the trail for exactly six months and one day. And uh, we're still in the 100 mile wilderness at night. And it's been raining like this all, all morning, all last night. And uh, on and off most of the day, the day before yesterday. So, uh, we're supposed to have a lot of rain coming through, which is getting pretty risky because it's also getting cold in the fall. So hypothermia is a factor if we don't play our cards right. And we're so close. It would be a shame to So, contending with that right now.
give me a minute. I I went across. I was trying to find a way to get across the the tributary. And allegedly some hikers had gotten there before us unless they stopped at the shelter, which they may have done. And oh, I'm shivering. I'm soaking wet. And, uh, I don't even know if my phone's gonna work anymore. I'm scared to check. But I went alone to see if we could get across and I got more than halfway across and everything was going okay and then then I got up to my chest in water and I'm shivering, I can't even hold the camera right. I got up to my chest in water and both of my ankles slipped into crevices. And then the, I thought I was gonna break both of my feet and get caught down, pinned down in the water and drown. I had jukebox's pole to help me stabilize, but I could not move and Bruce went out to the water's edge. Mr. Bruce, he took the pole from me and I was able to hold on to his pole as I got one of my feet free. And then I found a crevice I could wedge my hand in so I could get my other foot out. And then I was able to reach for a tree branch on the opposite side and after just a couple of miles on a 14 mile day I got across the river but I told them that it's not safe that I almost drowned and I'm soaking wet and I'm the only person to make it across the river and I have to get to the car so I can tell Miss Kim and Kevin that that they're going back to the first road. So I'm <laughs> I am I'm undergoing hypothermia with 10 miles that I have to do and I have to get back so I can make sure everyone does not get to the same condition. This is a very dangerous situation, but I'm the only one who made it. And the rest of them are counting on me, including Bandit.
So, uh, after I got out of the woods yesterday, everyone else was waiting at the van for me. They uh, doubled back and uh, caught some other hikers in their van and uh, met me up at the road. But everyone survived yesterday. And we went into the town of uh, Millinocket. Millinocket and uh, decided that we were gonna flip-flop the area because we got torrential rain that we just went through and flooding around all over the state and New England area. And then in addition to that, we got Hurricane Joaquin coming in um, later in the week, probably around Sunday or Monday. And uh, right now we got a little bit of sunshine, it's weird, but uh, we're actually doing the Baxter State Park portion of the trail. We're doing about 10 miles today. Um, we're not going to climb up Katahdin, but then we're coming back to the same road and we're going to do 45 miles south. So we're dirty flip floppers now. Never but, trust southbound. And we're southbound. Um, today we're northbound, but we'll be southbound tomorrow. And uh, so, yeah, because of the hurricane and bad weather, we gotta find another way to do this. So, Ooh, talk about the. Uh, what did you do with Bandit? What did I do with Bandit? I locked him in a hotel room and told him not to get anything from room <coughs> service. <laughs> um, but, yep. Yeah. That's all that's going down. So we're in Baxter State Park today, and we're, we've skipped ahead a little bit, but we'll get to see Katahdin. And uh, that's exciting. I'm also wearing Kevin's down jacket. All my clothes got soaking wet yesterday, so I've been wearing the Orr's family clothing. I got somebody else's shirt underneath me. I think you do. But, yeah. Still doing it. Still hiking. Of course not. Let me see this. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> yeah, that's Katahdin. Oh, Mama now K. it's blurry. Kroger? What did I do? No. You're blurry. You're blurry. Okay, what was it? Uh, oh, so we're at McDonald's in Millinocket. And also the sky is on fire and it's the end of times. Screaming terror. I'm loving it. Come here, buddy. Come here. Bandit, come here. Come here. Come here. Okay, just uh, spent our last night in the woods, hammock camping. 
and it was really cold. We got about 22 miles we got to do today. 22 or 23 or something like that. And then uh, the only hike we have to do after that is Katahdin. Yesterday and today are uh, southbound days. Um, we're going back to do that section that we had to avoid during high water. And um, it's almost over.